in this example, it says that um, you have a variable called time to find first employment after graduation. And that variable has a mean, mu, um, eight months with a standard deviation, sigma, equals to 2.4 months. And then in a sample of four individuals, n equals to four, what is the probability that the average in this sample, x bar, is going to be as extreme as 10 months? The purpose of this example is to try and um, fi figure out how do we calculate a probability of something called uh, as extreme as. Okay, so if I want to write it up as a probability, um, let's think about it. I have my sample size, which is equal to 4, meaning that it's less than 25. So the central limit theorem does not apply. So I cannot assume that uh, x bar has is a sampling distribution of the mean that is normal. So here, either I stop there and I cannot continue, I cannot do any calculation, or I have to assume that my, 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 my variable of interest has a normal distribution. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start by assuming that the original variable, time to find first employment, has a normal distribution with the mu that is given to us, which is equal to 8, and the sigma that is given to us, which is equal to 22.4. Now, since we, are ready, we were willing to make the assumption that it has a normal distribution, it means then, regardless of what sample you are taking from this population, the sampling distribution from that population will be normal. So the sampling distribution of the mean is going to be normal. Uh, and it will have a mu x bar that is going to be equal to the original mu, yani 8, and it's going to have a standard error. Remember, standard error manita sigma of x bars. So it's going to have a sigma x bar, which is equal to 2.4 divided by square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so it's 2.4 divided by 2, let me write it here so that you know what I'm talking about. So 2.4 divided by square root of 4. Maneta, it's going to be equal to 1.2. Okay? For n equal, and this is for n equals to 4. So if I want to draw the distribution of the sampling distribution of the mean, for n equals 4, it, it's going to look something like this. Okay? It has a mu x bar, which is equal to 8. And it's going to have a sigma x bar, which is equal to um, 1.2. By the way, if I want to show the original distribution, the original distribution will also be normal because I assumed it to be normal. But it's going to be a little bit flatter, right? So a flatter distribution is going to look something like this. Okay, so this is the original distribution. Okay, but I'm not interested in the original distribution. I'm interested in the SDM. So what does as extreme as means? Well, let's look at as extreme as the value 10. So if it, in, in this sampling distribution of the mean, the value 10 is somewhere, let's say, here. So this is x bar equals to 10. And as extreme as, it means values that are away from the mean, away from mu, as the 10 is away, or more away. Yani, in other words, is what are what's the probability of x bar being in that shaded area right here? Okay? But I'm not only going to take this area, I'm going to take the area that is as away as this part meaning that by symmetry, I'm going to go down to value 6, since 10 is 2 points away from 8, 6 is also 2 points away from 6, and I'm going to also calculate that area, okay? Now, what is peculiar about these two areas that I shaded is that they are equal, meaning that if you find this area right here, if you find that area, you just multiply by 2, and that will give you both areas, which translate into as extreme as 10. Okay, 
So what does as extreme as means? Extreme means values that are away from the mean. And when you're looking for as extreme as, you're looking for the x bars that are as, as away from 10 or even more away from 10. So you take, you take whatever the value is and you move away from the mean. It happens that 10 is greater than 8, so you take 10 and you go up. If I ask you what is the probability of x bar being as extreme as, for example, 7. Now, 7 happens to be below 8. Therefore, you take 8 and you, uh, I mean, 7 and you go down. So the probability I'm looking for translates into Schuller probability of x bar being greater than or equal. doesn't matter. I can put the equal or not 10 or x bar less than or equal to 6. Now, where does the 6 comes from? It comes from of the definition of as extreme as. You have to take both sides. So what you can do in, 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 in your calculation is just uh, get one of them and multiply by 2. Okay? So I'm, gonna, I'm going to get this one and I'm going to multiply by 2. Now, this translates into the probability of z greater than or equal. So I take x bar, which is 10, minus mu. I'm, I'm just applying the formula. Remember, the formula of the z is x bar minus mu over sigma divided by square root of n. Okay? So x bar is 10, mu is 8, and I already computed the sigma over root square of n. I computed it here. So it's divided by 1.2, and therefore, this is the probability of z greater than or equal. That is a 2. 2 divided by 1.2. Let me do the calculation. 2 divided by 1.2 is 1.67. So Schuller probability of z greater than 1.67. Now, we all remember that the table doesn't give me greater than, so I have to flip it. So this becomes the probability of z. I'm going to change it to less than or equal, and I'm going to also change the sign, negative 1.67. Now, this is a direct reading from the table. Um, I'll open my table, and I'm going to look for, this is the table, negative 1.67, right? So here's the negative 1.6. And remember, the 9 is here, 9, the 8, 7. So 0 0.475, 0 point, yes, 0 0.0475. So it's 0 0.0475. Am I done? No, I'm not done. Because remember, as extreme as, you have to multiply it by 2, remember? So my answer is going to be as extreme as is going to be the 0 0.0475. Now you multiply that by 2, and you get your answer, which is 2 times 0 0.0475, 0 0.095, 0 0.095. So the answer to the question, what is the probability that in sample of four individuals, the probability that the, the average time to find the job is as extreme as 10 months, it is 9.5%. This is the answer to the question. Now, if instead of taking four, we took, let's say, uh, nine, what's going to happen is that the sampling distribution of the mean is going to be narrower. And therefore, you're going to have less of an area that is as extreme as 10, okay? So if I keep it as extreme as 10, but I increased my sample size, my standard error is going to get uh, smaller, and therefore the area is going to get narrower and narrower, and therefore the answer is going to be less than 0.095. You can actually try it yourself and you can try to find the answer to that question.